Hello people and welcome back to my channel. So, recently I saw that uh, both uh, GoFigure and Nendo now did a video about why they collect figures and Nendo reads. And so I figured, why not doing the same thing? Why not copy them like it's a tag even though it's not a tag? So I'm going to do this video about why I collect books and figures. I'm going to start with figures because it's, it's a bit faster than books. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well first, like, uh, like Nando Nawa was always a collector at heart, like since I was a kid, I was always collecting stuff. I remember I collected uh, Diddle, Doodle, I think it's called Diddle, <laughs> it's something like that. It's like this little mouse with huge feet and I used to love that, I don't know why, I was so into that, so I had everything uh, connected to it, like uh, I had the clock, I had notebooks, I had little figures of it, I had a photo handler, I, ha I had any anything little that I could find. And I remember back then it was really expensive for me because when well, I was a kid and I had no money, so I, I my mom gave me uh, 10 francs, it was the, the money before Euro, uh, every day or every week, I don't remember, every day. And I used to save it for the longest time before buying the other stuff. I, uh, I collected Pokemon cards too, even though I didn't know how to play, but they were pretty, especially the shiny ones. So yeah, I was always collecting something. I don't remember, but lots of shit. But figures. Uh, it started a bit like by accident, so basically I, I used to buy uh, video games collector's edition and in general in video games collector's edition you have a figure. That's it, like, it's in the pack. So I wanted the collector edition for the goodies, including the figure, because I like having goodies related to something I like, whether it's a... Uh, whether it's a, it's a movie or a video game or an anime or whatever. But those figures, they were quite shitty. <laughs> like, you know, the collector's edition is not that expensive. I mean, it is, but compared to a figure. It's like the entire collector's edition is like 100 euro, while one figure is 100 euro. So you see, so of course the figure in it couldn't be as high quality as the figure I have now, but back then it was enough for me. <laughs> I didn't realize that you could have better quality figures. And then I found Momohime, my first actual figure, uh, link of the video here. Um, so I used to love this video game called Oboro Muramasa, and I wanted a figure of the someone in the game, anyone, Momohime or Kyusuke or Torahime or whoever. And I found this dad, this figure of Momohime, and I was like astonished by how pretty and good quality it was. And I was like, is that just on the picture or is that actually like this in real life? And I bought it on Amazon for quite a lot of money because I didn't know back then the prices of the figures and so she, she she was well really like that in real life really that awesome and stuff and so I learned then she was from a company called Alter <laughs> yeah my first real figure was Alter of course she was perfect so I I dig into that like what's the what's the thing is it Japanese figures that are like that and then I learned about all the companies, Good Smile Company, Alter, Kotobukiya, etc. And, well, they were so nice. So much nicer than the figure I used to have before. And so I, I wanted them all and I started collecting figures like that and now I have too much and I start liking room a bit. That's why I put some Dendro right here, I don't know if you can see. I moved them from my shelves and so yeah that's how I started collecting figures and the reason why it's also because I like art and in my opinion figures is like a sculpture so it's well it's it's art sculpting is art everyone knows that 
and sure it's a certain style it's not like a greek sculpture or something but it's it's so detailed and intricate sometimes and it's quite impressive and I, I really like the artistic side of the figures. So that's why I, I collect figures and also again because I like to have some goodies. I like goodies and f in my opinion figures are goodies of the anime or the video game to come from. And that's really nice to have them, especially when you know where they come from. even. So now I grow out of that a bit because I, I collect Sonicos, for example, and Mikus, and they don't come from anything really. I mean, you know, I already talked about that. I collect them just for the artistic side of the figure, I guess. But yeah. And now, why I collect books? Wow, that's a tough subject. Okay, you have to know people. Like I say, I collect. I always collected things. I collect figures. Recently, I started collecting vinyls because I like music. I don't know. Uh, I always collected things, but books. It's something special to me. It's not. It's not a collection. It's. It's a disease. <laughs> it's a disease, people. I am a compulsive book buyer. I cannot enter a bookshop and not buy a book. I just can't. That's why I try to not go too often in bookshops, but that too I can't really do. I, I go often. So I go in a bookshop, I look at the books, you know, and I take one, I read the story in the back, and I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting story. Wow, I would really like to read that, and then I buy it. And next thing I'm outside with the bag, with the books inside, and I'm like, fuck, I did it again. Oh my god, I'm so helpless. So yeah, I would say that I don't actually collect books. It's it's more like it's forced upon me because of my my obsession with buying them. And so I end up having lots of them. And I have more than that, much more or somewhere else and it's it's terrible and then I mean I kind of started seriously collecting books when I started collecting like uh, leather bound books like pretty books that are much more expensive and this one I actually buy them for their look I mean also for the content like I don't buy a pretty book of a shitty story I buy, I buy a pretty book of a great story, okay? But I often already have the book in a pocket or whatever. And I want it in a beautiful edition because I love that story and so fuck the pocket edition, I want the leather bound edition. So that's collecting, but the rest of my books, it's not really collecting, it's more like compulsive buying and it's so easy because books especially pocket books are so cheap uh, I don't know in your country how it is but here in France it's, it's pretty cheap you can find a book for six euro eight euro if it's a pocket 12 if it's a really big one like a thousand pages but yeah it's if you don't buy the hardback it's really cheap so it's not like figures, you don't have to think like, hmm, can I afford this, blah, blah, blah. You say, oh, it's just seven euro, and you pay it, and next time you look at your account, <laughs> at your bank account, you, you have so many expenses on books, and you're like, fuck, I didn't realize it was that much. So you have to be careful <laughs> about that. Like, I, I try to really count my expenses on books, but... I really, I really have a problem. I mean, I'm aware of it. I really have a problem. And it's stupid because I don't read that fast. I read a lot. I read every day. But I don't read that fast. I'm not Superman. So I can't read as much as I buy. Okay? So I have a huge pile of to be read books. That's like infinite. <laughs> 
I don't know when I'm gonna read them, if I'm ever gonna read them. Sometimes I forget. I, it's it it ends up somewhere, and I found it back, and I'm like, oh, I bought this book five years ago, and I still didn't read it. <sighs> it's, I swear I'm hopeless. <laughs> Uh, so that's something a bit special and I, I don't put it with my collection habits it's more it's really a disease for me like you think I'm exaggerating when I say a disease but I think being a compulsive buyer is considered a disease or a disorder at least so I have this disorder and I don't really know what to do about it but I don't really mind because you know it could be worse. Like, I could be a figure compulsive buyer, which that would be very expensive. I could buy shoes, which is, in my opinion, fucking useless. Sorry, I always wear the same shoes for the longest time. Uh, like, at least books, it's culture, it makes you smarter makes you more knowledgeable it's like it's good to have books it's not it's not a bad thing so let's say it's okay even though it's not really okay <laughs> okay so well I ramble a lot here people I'm sorry but yeah basically that's why I collect figures and books and so if you like the video don't forget to like the video <laughs> to leave a comment and to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in my next video bye